one day somebody does something unspeakable to someone else, to someone you hardly knew, man, you do something about it, because you can. This story comes to us from KCRA3 out of Stockton, California, where the city of Stockton has reached a settlement over the 2020 in-custody death of a man who died while being restrained by police officers. 29-year-old Shane Sutherland, who was restrained by Stockton police in October of 2020 at a convenience store. The Stockton Police Department at the time said Sutherland, who admitted to being on drugs, resisted arrest after officers tackled him to the ground. An officer held him down while the other officer pressed a baton against his shoulder. That is when, at some point, Sutherland stopped breathing. He was sent to a hospital where he died. Warning, some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Police find 29-year-old Shane Sutherland blocking the register. You paying for it? As body cam footage shows officers escorting him out and searched, Sutherland denies threatening anyone and then makes a surprise admission. You're high out of your mind right now. This is cocaine. Cocaine? Yeah. Okay. When's the last time you used cocaine? Um, earlier this morning. But when he's asked about where he lives, things escalate. Oh, and Tracy. Yeah, but never As the 29-year-old continues to fight, one officer then holds him down with his body, while the other uses a baton to press on his shoulders. Don't hey. fight. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Knock it off. Yes, sir. Knock it off. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Dude. Quit fighting. I you understand? Yes, yes, sir. I got it. I understand. I won't move. I won't move at all. Sutherland oh. becomes unresponsive oh. and later you dies at a move. hospital. A tragic twist to a police encounter that is still under investigation. Now at a Thursday news conference, civil rights attorney V. James DeSimone stood alongside Shane's mother, Karen Sutherland, outside the San Joaquin County District Attorney's Office. There they announced that the Stockton City Council approved a $6 million settlement in connection with a wrongful death lawsuit that the family filed three years ago. De Simone argued that Shane was having a mental health crisis and he wasn't a threat to anyone. He said the way police restrained him led to him dying from positional asphyxiation as he begged officers to let him breathe. That sounds familiar, remember? It's not only the Sutherland who experienced a loss, it was the entire community, says DeSimone. Karen, Shane's mother, said she hopes the city and the police department will take her son's death seriously. Yeah, good luck on that. Shane didn't deserve this, she said, I agree. The loss that my family has suffered is absolutely devastating. As a mother, it's like getting punched in the gut every day. Now Shane Sutherland was a football coach and left behind two children, now ages seven and eight. His death came roughly a year and a half after the in-custody death of George Floyd. And that's what I said. We've heard that before. I can't breathe. The city of Stockton confirmed to KCRA3 that the settlement did happen, but they won't comment on it. Of course not. The Stockton Police Department provided KCRA3 with a comment saying this. The Stockton Police Department sympathizes and recognizes that any loss of life is a tragedy that has a lasting effect. We are dedicated to educating and training our officers while collaborating with community partner organizations to best serve the community. By prioritizing training and education initiatives, the Stockton Police Department ensures that officers are equipped with the knowledge, skills, and expertise necessary to uphold public safety and maintain community trust. For any officer involved critical incident, a multi-agency protocol investigation is initiated with investigators from the San Joaquin County District. Blah, 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 blah. <clears throat> now, that's a quote from the chief, and I'm going to say this. You can give them 
all the education and training you want. All of it. When cops get on the street, they don't care. Do you really think they, hey man, we were taught to do this. Ha ha! Why? Because they're not going to pay the lawsuit. They're going to get a slap on the hand. Maybe a write-up in their folder. What do they care? Basically, here's another one where I can't breathe. It becomes fatal. Life ending. They're sued. The taxpayers are going to pay this, not the cops involved. No criminal litigation happened, or I say litigation, but no criminal prosecution <laughs> happened with these cops. Just civil litigation, which they they don't pay. So my point is, okay, great, the family got six million dollars. She deserves more than that, in my humble opinion. But doesn't solve anything. Doesn't solve a thing. Because the cops aren't being held accountable. Therefore, it doesn't solve anything, in my humble opinion. What do you think?